How's it going guys? So in this video, um, I am going to change the transmission fluid in my Honda Clarity Plug-in Hybrid. And if you can see over here, um, this is probably all you need to change the transmission, transmission fluid. You need a funnel that's long enough to go into here, which is where the fluid is hosted. See that little plug right there. Okay, so that's a plug that you need to unplug and pour the fluid in and it's very deep inside the engine bay That's why you need a funnel that can go fairly long The second thing you need is your transmission fluid using the genuine Honda ATF DW1 um, You need 2.1 quart and uh, Unfortunately, you can't buy 0.1 quart. So you have to buy three bottles and use just a little bit on this bottle um, but you know eventually as you change it every 50,000 miles um, you can probably reuse this bottle and just seal it better seal it tight and you know hopefully you can reuse it um, some gloves so you don't your hands doesn't get dirty and a square socket which the transmission fluid um, drain plug is gonna be a square socket that you need to put it in and just unscrew it like how you unscrew the oil um, drain plug and uh, you need a flathead a screwdriver to actually loosen. Let me show you guys the shield over here. This shield covering the bottom. Um, you need to loosen that in order to access the transmission fluid side or the transmission uh, side of, of the underbelly of the car. Um, pretty much same procedure. When you go under, it's the same procedure to move that cover on the bottom um, when you change the the oil and except the oil is on this side um, if you have changed the oil before the transmission fluid is on the other side actually this is my first time doing it I saw some video um, doing it so I want to go ahead and change mine because mine haven't been changed for 10,000 miles my uh, 2018 clarity is already close to 10,000 miles and supposedly you need to change it at 50,000 miles so I know the fluid is, is really <laughs> it's really old so I really need to change it and I just figured out um, it's probably best to do it yourself and save you know a couple hundred bucks um, the fluid is about ten dollars each bottle you can probably get it um, cheaper somewhere at your local dealership maybe um, but you can also buy it on Amazon they sell four pack for less than fifty dollars and I, I paid three um, I think for like 30 some dollars than my local dealership, okay? Another thing kind of important you need is a ramp. This is a really good quality ramp that I actually was surprised. I got it from Walmart. I have been using it quite a lot um, for my uh, oil change on my Clarity. And uh, uh, this is the Rhino ramps. And again, you can probably get this from your local AutoZone, uh, Walmart, and if you're pretty far from a store, you can get it from Amazon. You just need a ramp that you can get your car elevated so you can go under the belly. It's much easier to service. Last thing you need is a drain pan. Um, I have this very cheap drain pan, like three bucks, uh, from local hardware uh, AutoZone. And uh, again, keep in mind, you need two quarts. This drain pan is about six quarts, so plenty of room. Um, I'm planning on recycle the oil back into those bottle after the bottle has been used So um, make sure you dispose your transmission fluid properly at your local county's, you know Hazardous waste disposal sites. Okay, um, but other than that, it's actually a very easy process The only thing I need to take note for you guys to do it is make sure you clean your drain plug area very well like uh, for me, the drain plug area was covered in dirt and sand and it took me, you know, a good 5 to 10 minutes to get that plug cleaned. And again, I'm going to show you guys where you can access it. You can access it like somewhere in between the, the, um, uh, the air vent and you just go in there and you can kind of reach it with a paper towel or whatever you need and it actually just pulls out very easily, okay? I'll show you guys how easy it is to pull it out. See, I already cleaned the area, so it's it's nice and ready to go. I, I'm ready to put the new oil in, but this area usually is very dirty and full of dust. So you need to make sure to clean those dust off, okay? Like my, my old area was like that, like full of dust. But now it's very clean. So when I put the transmission fluid in there, 
I can just go this, get it aligned, and put the fluid in there. Okay. So now I'm gonna get under the belly, remove the um, the shield, the splash guard at the bottom, like that little metal piece, and then we'll start. Okay. Okay, so now I have the car safely uh, ramped up and it gives me a lot more space to work on the car and also to show you guys where exactly that little area for the transmission plug is. Very easy to see. If you go from the, the front passenger side, look at that hole, it's right there waiting for you. Okay, so it just takes a regular square, like a, I think a quarter, uh, quarter inch or just one of those square uh, wrenches that I have I don't know how do you call it one of those square ones okay so you just have to go there um, kind of turn it um, counterclockwise and it would actually um, loosen the um, the plug for the transmission fluid and before we do that I'm actually going to just um, unplug or at least loosen this so Again, to loosen it, very easy. You just kind of lift it up and it comes out, okay? You can also fully remove it right here. Um, and the hole looks like that. Just make sure you have the right hole, okay? Very, very easy to spot, okay? Not, nothing fancy. It's actually more easy than changing the oil, to be honest. I'm gonna leave it at a safe spot. All right, here we go. The underside of the Clarity at its glory with the shield removed. Um, this is also a good time to check. Make sure nothing is leaking. No oil is leaking from your actual engine area. Uh, for me, there is no oil leaking. There was a little residue from my oil change earlier today. Um, but again, this little hole with a square is where you want to access the transmission fluid. Okay, so get your drain pan ready as well. Um, and we'll start clean this area. Always try to keep my car as clean as possible. 10,000 miles uh, without, um, I mean, 100,000 miles without any issue. And I'm loving this car very much. took some force. It's actually a lot higher torque than the, uh, the oil plug, I think. Oil plug is 30 Newton meters. I don't know what this one is, but I'm gonna get ready. Just don't want the mess. Let's see. Here we go. Oh, oh my god, it's pretty nasty. Very, very dark, very, very dirty. Okay. Um, definitely needs change. Whew. Supposedly it, it it's supposed to be bright red and <laughs> my fluid is like dark. Horrible. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna save the plug and clean it a little bit. Alright guys, so looking at this dirty pile of transmission fluid, um you definitely want to change it according to interval. Maybe 40,000 miles or 50,000 miles, you definitely need to change it. This is way past, it's almost, you know, twice as long as it's supposed to last. Um, so not good. And um, what I'm gonna do is actually, I'm going to measure the capacity of the oil. And according to my pen, um, 
it says there's close to three quarts um, US quarts of water in here but I don't the specification calls only for two points I think 2.2 US quarts so I'm gonna pour this into a two quart cup and see how much liquid is in here okay um, and I might want to grab some this cup is close to this cup is exactly three quart so perfect I'm gonna use this and let's just drain and see how much fluid are there kind of hard oops better get ready Looking from, it's about you know one third full, so I would say it's a little more than two quarts. So the specification is correct, um, and also, crap, almost lost the crush washer. Um, I gotta actually um, put the crush washer on a bolt and then put it back there. So don't lose your crush washer. Okay, it's an 18 millimeter, and definitely want to get a new replacement one. Unfortunately, this time I didn't have a replacement one, so I gotta reuse this. Um, but yeah you need a crush washer every time you change the transmission fluid again i was underprepared so um, that's on me but it's about two quarts 2.2 quarts all right and i'm gonna leave this on the side we're gonna i'm gonna take it to the uh, recycle center uh, for the county and get it recycled okay you don't want to dump this into the ground, definitely. All right, guys, so I have tightened the bolt under the belly from the drain, transmission drain plug. And now I just need to add the appropriate amount of transmission fluid um, into the, the transmission, right? So uh, the first two bottles will be easy. Um, I'm just gonna be pouring, so exactly, the transmission needs 2.11 liters of transmission fluid. Those two add together is about um, 19, 18, it's about 1900 uh, or 1 1.9 uh, liters of transmission fluid. So on the last bottle, you need to add about, um, so you need to stop at around like 720 something. I did the math. So I just need to pour until it goes to 720 something and then I should stop. Uh, the indicator is right here. This is uh, milliliters. So it's not in quarts. So it will be harder to use the calculation on quarts. It will be easier to use milliliter as calculation when you're trying to calculate the correct amount. Okay. So let's pour the first one. Again, plug is already poured in. Um, my car is still on the ramp. At the end, I'm gonna actually uh, put the splash guard back there, lower the car, and then put the remaining amount um, in there because, again, I think for this job, for the transmission change, it's different from oil. It's probably better to do it on a flat surface, right? Um, so next time I'll do it on a flat surface, but this time I'm just gonna let it go. And again, next time I'll also need um, brand new um, crush washer right so a lot of those that I don't have this time but I think it's better to have new fluid in there than just have it sit there for longer right so the new transmission fluid is bright red I'm not sure if you guys can see but it is bright red okay it's very bright compared to that really old one that's like dark um, again let's just start pouring yeah it's 
like really red, really, really red. Okay, there we go. Try not to mess it up. Look how red it is. And it's going in perfectly. I can see it from the trans, you know, transparent tube. Again, first bottle will be easy. And don't pour too fast because it might backflow a little bit. You don't want to waste this fairly expensive fluid. Okay, doing great. And again, I'm gonna keep pouring, keep pouring. First bottle is almost all there. I'm so glad um, I actually found out that video on how to do it. And then I'm able to do it myself. There we go, very nice. So first bottle is completely in. I'm gonna pour the second bottle as well. Don't want to waste this expensive liquid gold. Okay, and second bottle. And this thing is not sealed or anything. So I would say um, just save the extra remaining one. Next time, just use that um, as additional uh, fill. And again, this funnel is about $2 at local store. You can probably also get it on Amazon. I'll post a few links. But you need to make sure your bottom plug is, is completely closed, okay? Otherwise, it's going to be a huge mess. We're getting there. Beautiful. All right, second bottle, all in. And we just need a little bit more to top it off. Again, as I mentioned, uh, we're gonna stop the mark at 720. So a little bit more than 700, we're stopped there. Okay. All right. Last bottle. This is full. And this one, don't pour too fast. Okay. Getting there, we're at about 800. Just need to pour a little bit extra. I want to be as precise as I can. Right there, okay. We're stopped there. Um, I'll show you guys. And again, I'm gonna keep this uh, as airtight as possible. So I can reuse it next time. Oops, this doesn't want to come out. Weird. Anyway, all right. So um, we stopped at seven hundred twenty, right? Um, and I'm gonna pull the pull the thing out, put the plug back in there. plug is right here very easy to plug back in okay
and we'll probably have to find a way to flush this as well or do a quick wash wash off all those oils like so See if I can show you guys how I plug it. All right, let's find the hole, find the plug, and we're just gonna go reaching there. And here we go. A couple of clicks. It should be up pretty firmly situated in there, right? So um, the job is done, right? Um, so last step again, um, I need to back this out and I think next time I'll actually do it without the ramp because um, I think the transmission again, it's longer um, So it might benefit from a flat surface to train it a lot more. Okay, um, but there you have it It's it's fairly easy last step is uh, find the little shield put the shield back get the car backed out and That's it. Okay, so if you guys have any questions on how to change the transmission fluid again i think it's actually easier than changing the oil uh, feel free to ask me in the comment section down below uh, otherwise i hope you found this video helpful and if you did please do hit the like button or subscribe to my channel i will have more um, videos uh, related to honda clarity coming out for you guys because i i need to actually do a hundred thousand mile review on this fantastic honda clarity all right thanks again and i'll see you in the next video take care